Hello everyone, thanks for joining me. With the atlas in hand, Laura is headed to the observatory to meet with Jacob. The atlas should provide them with a clue to the location of the lost city and ultimately a way to find the divine source. So let's get started. Here's a survival cache. Here's a crate. Interact with this remnant. Lara, glad to see you're still with us. The invaders are spread all over the valley, but we're pushing back where we can. If you can lend a hand, you're always welcome. We know we can trust you. Use your grapple and climb up. Here's a document. We are no match for Trinity. They are the ones that drove our forefathers out of the Empire, and now they have come to finish the job. We are a broken remnant of a once holy people. Only our cause remains. I do not believe in my heart that we can defeat them. But I know that we can die trying, and that God and the Prophet could ask no more. Drop down. Here's another crate. Jump across. Go to the left. Pick up some goodies. Pick up another crate. Jump across the water. And here's another survival cache. And we earned a trophy, Keen Eye, for finding 40 survival caches. Use an explosive arrow, open this cave. Here is a relic. The hilt of an ancient dagger. Blades gone, but it's a femur of some sort. Almost certainly human. Perhaps it's some sort of ritual object. Light up the campfire. Someone else was attacking Trinity in the darkness beneath the cathedral. Could it be the Deathless One Sophia spoke of? And if so, what part do they have to play in all of this? I have so many questions. But for now, I'm just relieved. Jonah's alive. I should have known he'd come looking for me. And thank God Jacob's people found him before he ran afoul of Trinity. I never wanted him to follow me into danger, but I have to admit, I'm happy he's here now. Going to skills, hunter, select shotgun expert. It allows you to execute a close range shotgun finisher and improve chances of looting incendiary shells. Then going to weapons, shotguns, Pump action shotgun, select barrel shroud for increased reload speed. We are done here. Here's a map.
pick up some goodies, some more goodies, and a crate. Here's a survival cache. Go out here. received a trophy paying respects for attending a funeral now let's go towards the observatory Jonah <laughs> you look terrible terrible but happy I was right Jonah dad was right the divine source is real I Wish he was here to see this. He'd be proud of you. Sophia told me what you've done for her people. Lara, it's good to see you, Sophia. Jacob is waiting for you in the observatory. Founders of Katesh were skilled craftsmen. They use this place to view the Atlas. <sighs> Jonah, try those chains. Got it. have used this to plan the construction of the city. Like ancient blueprints. Exactly. Everything radiates out from this point. That puts the center of the city under the lake. But, hmm, something's not right. The cathedral, where the atlas was, it's on the wrong side of the map. Keep rotating it. isn't under the lake. It's under the glacier. The divine source must be there. How the hell are we gonna get through all that ice? Wait. This path here leads into the city. The cathedral is there. And the tower on the other side. That means the entrance to Katesh must be... Here. The entrance to Katesh is here. You knew. Ugh. 
Ahara. Oh no. We... We don't have much time. It won't be long before Trinity discovers the location of the source. But... I have to go after Jonah. Even if it means giving up the truth you came here to find. He risked his life to come here with me. I almost lost him once. Not again. Then go. Do what you must. Jonah is alive. They must be holding him in the old Soviet gulag. I never wanted to go back to that terrible place, but I can't leave him in Trinity's hands now. Jonah, hold on. Sophia, are you there? Lara! Are you all right? I'm up by the old copper mill overlooking the gulag. I'm about to go in after Jonah. I know the spot. We hit a stash of weapons near where we first attacked Trinity. You might find them useful. Thank you, Sophia. I'll see you when I get out. Here is a map. Pick up a document. Laura. 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 Answer me. Last time I saw you, you were... Damn it, Laura. You better not be dead. After the avalanche, I... I got one little blip. One brief echo. But I'll be damned if it wasn't your voice. I know I heard it. I know you survived. At least the avalanche. I haven't heard a peep since, but I'll keep trying. I know you told me to leave, to get somewhere safe, but... Did you really expect me to leave you here? Come on. You should know me better than that. Some magnesite ore. This is a pretty view. He copies survival cash. Open the strong box. They have Jonah now, and the Atlas. But if they think he knows something, there's still a good chance they're keeping him alive. I just hope Jonah can hold out long enough for me to find him. I have to get him back. I won't let him die here. Hang on, Jonah. I'll find you. Going to skills, hunter. Select Rifle Expert that allows you to execute a close range rifle finisher and improve chances of looting grenades. Then go into Weapons, 
shotguns. Pump action shotgun and select custom trigger for increased rate of fire. We are done here. When these are climbing arrows. Climb up this wall. And here's a mural. More propaganda. Jump on the zip line. We earned a trophy, zipper, for performing a manual zip line transfer. We're back at the Soviet installation. You can use your climbing arrows on this wall, but I'm just going to use a rock wall here. Come out here. Cut this flag. This is capture the flag challenge. We need to cut seven Soviet flags in this area. Climb up the rock wall. Here's another flag. Cut this flag down. Let's go in the shop. We can purchase hey, several items. Welcome back. If you found any more gold, I've got gear for you. I don't think they're on to us yet, but try to be discreet, okay? I'm gonna purchase the refinement tool. It unlocks the last year for weapon upgrades. Go to the campfire. I know I've spoken little of your mother, Lara, but I want you to know that in the brief time she spent with you, she loved you utterly. We were a very happy little trio, and when we lost her, I was a wreck. I still am. I hope one day I will find answers that will stop this pain. For me it is too late, but for others, maybe not. I'm rambling now. Shouldn't have had that nightcap. <laughs> Sweet dreams, dearest. Was it all about her? Those questions about life you hoped to answer? Or was that just an excuse? Maybe I reminded you of her too much. God, Lara, you're talking to a ghost. About another ghost. <laughs> Maybe you need a nightcap. Going to weapons, handguns, moon shadow, then select quick release magazine for increased reload speed. I'm gonna select fast travel and I'm gonna go back to the geothermal valley.
jump on the zip line. <laughs> Climb this tree. This is another post that we need to pull towards us. Use a rope arrow, bring closer to you, and then jump. Now use your grapple and jump across. Got some goodies. Use your grapple again and jump across. Jump across one more time. And here's the satchel. Jump into the waterfall. Pick up some goodies. Continue into the cave. Very cool place to hide a cave. Open this wall. Then jump in the hole. Swim forward. Here's a document. Rivka joined the Prophet because her husband, a Rus nobleman, was a believer. When he died on the journey north, she stayed with the Prophet, pondering what her place was amongst the believers. When she saw the valley, she knew she had found her purpose. She dreamed what Katesh could be. She laid those dreams out to be built. It is because of Rivka that Katesh became not just beautiful, but livable. This is another pretty cool cave. And let's head down. Up some oil. And here's a mural. Rivka, the architect. Continue going down. Jump on the zip line. <laughs> Here is a sarcophagus room. Lots of detail. Here's some magnesite ore. This rock wall is very glitchy, so I'm gonna take a couple attempts to get out of here. Some 
more magnesite ore. Jump on this rock, then jump across. More magnesite ore. Jump down. Here's some more magnesite ore. Continue going up. Swim down. Get out of the water right here. Pick up some mushrooms. And then jump on the rock wall. Now we exit the cave. Let's go into this cave. Same thing here. There's magnesite ore everywhere. Here's one. And here is two. Open this wall. And go inside. Go for a swim. Swim to the right. Pick up a crate. Sounds like a swamp. ivory and gems interesting it's been altered with this rough strap of leather and it's been used to store plants start the campfire Can't upgrade anything, so let's move on. Some pretty cool statues. Looks like they should be holding a spear.
Oh, here's a trap. Activate the trap. And clear the way. Got the relic. An ivory jar. It looks like it was carved from a single tusk. A simple thing, but the level of detail in the carving is impressive. Go up the stairs. Here's some more cool statues. Go to the right. And here's a document. The dead choke the rivers. Our children's blood is spilled on the valley floor. We live, but with what? Our city entombed? Our sons and daughters murdered? Is it courage to go on? Or madness? Those who fell no peace now. When will we? There's definitely something missing from their hands. Pick up a crate. Interesting place for a tree. Jump down. It's a bathhouse. It's a flooded Behind that gate, that's where we want to go. Must be a way to get in there. Use a rope arrow. Attach to the boat. And then use the crank. Stop halfway, use your rope arrow again, use your crank, jump on this window, then jump down in the water. Activate this lever. That did it. Damn, it's not going to stay. Must be some way of keeping it in place. Swim to this crank and attach a rope to the lever. cool details that they have in this room. Let's go out. Jump in the boat. Now we want to go to the other side. Bob. So many dead. What happened here? No sign of other violence. 
And here's a map. Drop down in the water. Then swim towards the lever. Pull the lever back. Now we want to attach it to our boat. Jump across. Once again up some goodies and then go out of the room jump in the water get in the boat and use the hand crank Last of them. <sighs> Laid out for burial. A mass grave. Pick up some coins. Mm -hmm. Pick up some more coins. Mm -hmm. That's our destination, is behind that gate. Here's some arrows. Shoot the barrels to gain access. up some coins then pick up your prize an old codex this one appears to be an instruction manual for mountaineering Jump down. Then exit the room. Here's another document. We cannot leave our children to rot beneath the sun. But there are too many graves to dig and the earth is hard. What need have we for leisure now? This place, like so many others, will never ring with laughter again. We have made the whole world a tomb. The dead shall rest. We owe them that much. Use your rope arrow and open this passage. We are back at the campfire. We use the zip line to exit. <laughs> then backtrack to the cave entrance.
harvest this deer. Pick up some mushrooms. Exit the cave and go to the left. Use your climbing arrows on this tree. Then climb up. Jump across. And here's a document. Alia is with child. My daughter. I cannot put into words the tempest in my skull. I know I have made a grave mistake. My people will accept it without an ill look, but they too will see the error of my judgment. It seems so cold to call this year of happiness with Alia an error. But with every glorious moment, I knew that we sowed the seeds of tragedy. I cannot be a husband or a father and still be who I must be for my people. Someday I will have to make a decision that pits my duty against the love of my family. I do not know how I will bend on that day. God help me, I'm a fool. Jump down. I'm gonna go across the river. Back here. Use a grenade arrow and open this cave. Some magnesite ore. We got some coins, some mushrooms. We got some more coins, and we are done here. Go up the stairs, go right, continue going up, go left, and here's a survival cache. Go back down. Make a right. Open this door with an explosive arrow. Pick up some goodies. And here is a map. Here's a relic. A prehistoric carving of the bear. The stone looks like it could have come from this valley.
There has to be more shells for the Soviet rifles. Why is there a shortage now? Nearly a dozen of the crates got wet during the last rainy season. One of the caves flooded when the river changed course. I suppose we'll be able to gather more when we drive these invaders out. Interact with these remnants? Hello there. You didn't have to risk your life to fight with us, but you did. You won't find wolves on this side of the valley. We've made sure of that. We thought the catacombs below the tower would be safe. If it wasn't for you, we would have been buried. Hello there. I have to admit, I didn't think much of you when you first came. But I've seen what you can do now. The Soviets abandoned this place in a hurry, and they left salvage all over the valley. Put it to good use. When the Soviets came, none of us had ever seen a rifle or a helicopter. That gave them an advantage that Trinity doesn't have. Go back out. Pick up some hardwood. Continue down the path. Across the river. Use a rope arrow to go across. Here's a coin cache. Let's harvest these guys. We can't harvest him. Go back out. Instead of going to the ground area, we're going to go to this tree. <laughs> Jump across. Pick up some ammo. Pick up some arrows. Sometimes there's deer over here. I don't see any, so I'm just gonna jump down. Go across the bridge. Here's some hardwood. I'm full. Water won't be safe to drink. Not until we clean the corpses out of the river. Suppose there's always the old cisterns. Hmm. If Trinity finds a way to block our access to them, we're gonna have a problem on our hands. Follow the path on the left. Up the stairs and turn the right. Pick 
up some mushrooms. Use your grapple and jump across. Light up the campfire. Go into inventory. The equipment. And select large rifle ammo pouch to increase the capacity for rifle ammo. Before proceeding to the cave, this is a good place for us to stop and we'll continue on the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.